Up top and just that, you know, it's Dutch Denier here representing for Dutch Denier at Top Slide TV. Please remember, share, like, subscribe. Hit me up in our comment box, my fam. You know what I mean? Tell your friend about Yasso because Yasso, nice. Yes, my fam, me day, me day, me day, me day. You know what I mean? We have one real troubling situation at hand right now, I deal with. You know what I mean? Because this Ryan Williams, I go through some stress, I go through some problem, I go through some levels of discomfort you know what i mean so we are gonna go straight into it and make you hear exactly what i'm right i want my life back crash victim wants health ministry to help to get medication ryan williams is dying to get his life back on track the 31 year old has been in a hospital bed for the past 14 months after being involved in a motor vehicle crash and there is no telling when he might be back on his feet again williams who was admitted at the cornwall regional hospital needs a special medication osteocet t to help his leg to heal his mother beverly murray llewellyn said she has done everything possible to get the treatment but all were futile murray llewellyn is calling on the ministry of health and wellness to intervene and help her son my son is in pain and i just need help from the ministry of health to see if they can help to bring him in the medication to jamaica because in order for the bone to heal they have to put that medication inside of it she told the team williams suffer from a condition called osteomyelitis which occurs whenever the bone gets infected he was involved in a motor vehicle crash in montego bay st james last april williams who was driving a motorcycle sub sustained a severe injury to his ankle as the bone there was shattered williams said that he has undergone three surges since the accident what i would love to see is my surgery being done and successful so that i can go back to work and get my life back to normal he said since the accident happened my life has not been the same i went from being a very active person to being in bed all the time not being able to doing not being able to doing anything at all i can't work which for me is one of the most important thing because i love to work it has been very difficult in so many ways and you know no work means no income he had it williams mother said she was told by the doctors at Cornell regional that it would cost two hundred thousand dollars to purchase the medication to help her son we got the money and everything and now it seems as if the doctors are not in any hurry to get it murray llewellyn said i went ahead and called some companies out there that distributed and they are saying the doctors are the ones who have to order it i really don't know the reason why they haven't got it yet i also called overseas 
and they said I have to order to a medical sales representative and I don't know anyone like that. William is anxious for his medication to reach the hospital but at appears it appears that its procurement and delivery has been caught up in bureaucracy up top and just that you know it's dutch the Nero here representing for dutch the Nero top slide tv please remember share like subscribe hit me up in the comment box my fam let me know what you think about that one here let me know what you think about that one here my fam because this young man here right 31 year old in the hospital 14 months now at Carnal Regional Hospital can't get his medication to help his wound to heal right so he need that special type of medication to help his wound to heal right so when you check it now the doctors tell him that it would take like it would cost like 200,000 to sort out his medication right and he got the 200,000 and when he got the 200,000 he the medication can't can reach can't arrive right the medication can't arrive so they don't know what to do right and you know you know it's sad it's sad for someone really active to just be in hospital bed like that especially when when you are young you know what I mean? Especially when you are young, very young. You know what I mean? But it's really sad. And worse, it's a it's a motor vehicle accident that caused it. He was on a motorcycle and collided with something. You know what I mean? So that's a sad one from hit me up in the comment box. You know what I mean? Let me know your views. You know what I mean? What you think about the whole situation. You know what I mean? Yeah, so up top.